It's time we made education world class for every American child from the day they are born till the day they graduate from college. This is, this is a great school, but there are too many schools that aren't working for our kids. And we know how to fix them. If we invest in early childhood education, we can close the achievement gap and make sure that every child is prepared when they start school. And I don't want to talk about how great teachers are. I want to reward them for their greatness by giving them higher salaries and giving them more support. And, you know, I, uh, I think we have to have the highest standards in the world for our schools. We are falling behind, especially in math and science. So we've got to have high standards. But I don't want those high standards measured just by a single high-stakes standardized test because I don't want teachers teaching to the test. I want our kids learning art and music and science and poetry and civics and history because that will make them not just competitors in the workplace but good citizens and we need good citizens here in America. And I don't know about you but I think it's about time we make college affordable for everybody. So, so I propose a $4,000 tuition credit every student every year. But students, you're going to have to get something back in return. Spend some time in community service. Spend some time in national service. Work in a homeless shelter. Work in a veterans home. Join the Peace Corps. We'll invest in you. You invest in America. Together, we'll march this country forward. I want an economy that's more fair. Now, I believe in the free market and entrepreneurship and business, but when a CEO of a company is making more in 10 minutes than ordinary workers are making in an entire year, and the CEO gets a tax break and the worker gets nothing, and when the company goes belly up, the CEO walks away with a million dollar bonus and the worker loses his pension. Something's wrong. Something is wrong. And it has to be changed. And so we're going to stop giving tax breaks to companies that ship jobs overseas. Give those tax breaks to companies that are investing here in the United States of America. We need a president who's going to be looking out for U.S. workers when he's he or she is negotiating trade deals so that we got labor standards and environmental standards and safety standards so kids aren't chewing on toys with lead paint in them. We've got to build our infrastructure, rebuild our roads and our bridges, our locks, our dams, lay broadband lines all across America. We are spending $10 billion a month in Iraq. If we spent some of that money right here in the United States of America putting people back to work, we would make our country more competitive, and that's got to be part of our national security as well. It's time we rebuild America. And we need to change our energy policy. We send a billion dollars a day to foreign nations because of our addiction to foreign oil. Meanwhile, people are paying $350 at the pump. We are melting the polar ice caps, and ExxonMobil made $11 billion last quarter. Something's wrong with that picture. So what I've said is, we are going to cap the emission of greenhouse gases that cause global warming. We're going to get billions of dollars and reinvest in clean energy, solar and wind and biodiesel. We're going to help make cars more fuel efficient. If we increase fuel efficiency standards on cars to 40 miles per gallon, we would save the equivalent of all the oil we import from the Persian Gulf. And imagine what that would do for our environment, for our economy, and for our national security. We need a president who has that vision for the future. And let me just make one last point, and then we'll get to questions. We need a foreign policy that makes sense in this country. You know, I, my job as Commander-in-Chief will be to keep you safe. That's the most important job I will have as President. 
And I will not hesitate to act and strike against those who would do us harm where necessary. But keeping you safe starts with maintaining the strongest military army. And that means making sure our troops are properly trained and properly equipped and they're on proper rotations so that they're not going again and again on multiple tours. It means treating them properly when they come home. You know, no more homeless veterans, no more begging for disability payments, no more waiting for hours to get into the VA.